on another episode of Tainted Legacies. I never cheated the game. Lies and more lies and big cap. I heard this man twice within this calendar year alone say he never cheated again. Once right after getting that scoring title, all time scoring title, I should say. And then two at the ESPYs. We all know this is lies, the biggest lies. But before I start and begin, make sure you subscribe to Franchise Sports TV on Rumble FS TV 22, and also subscribe to this channel on YouTube as well. All right, I had to quick plug that right quick. But anyways, back to the I never cheated the game. You have cheated the game in so many different ways, LeBron. So many with different ways as possible. You cheated the game by constantly, constantly, constantly stacking your teams up. Constantly asking for help. Sometimes it worked. And sometimes it didn't. Most of the time, it hasn't. There has been people who won more rings than he has that played with less talent. You're having your fingers into everything means you cheated the game. Now, some people might go to your alleged uh, Captain America Super Serum. That is one version, and that is another point of cheating the game, but we're going to keep that as allegedly for now. Most people think you did. We don't know. But that does constitute as cheating the game. You cheat the game by sitting out against big teams. When a good team comes to the Staples Center, oh, I'm hurt. 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 But a team that only won 20 games so far in a 20 and 30 or 40 or something like that, oh, he's up for it. The constant ball hugging, stat padding to get that record in the previous season, the 21 22 season. Jacking up threes from anywhere to get that. That's cheating the game. Cheating the fans. Flopping. You're a flop master. I remember he did say at one point in time, Oh, we don't work on flopping. We, we don't believe in flopping. We'll never do that. That was right after, I, I think, either a game against Golden State in the semifinals or the conference finals with Denver. I thought it was the conference finals with Denver. But we know you're capping when you say that because there's been plenty. People have people have actual 10, 5 to 10 minute videos on YouTube of your ass flopping. That is cheating the game. Just this past season alone against the Denver Nuggets, you flopped constantly. This year alone, your team was awarded 46 fouls averaged. Let's say 46 fouls was the average a game compared to the opposing teams, probably 10 or 12. That is cheating the game. You cheat the game every chance you get to catch Michael Jordan, which you never ever with you know what and I said in the previous one he, he still ain't catching Kobe Bryant himself you ain't catching a lot of people before you get to Jordan you can do all the cheating you want all the flip-flopping all the switching and all this stuff you never ever gonna get to that level but this man has cheated the game so many times some of us can't even count him anymore and he has the right to call himself to go get out of here. Stop it. Stop the lies. Baddest man ever to step on the NBA court. Baddest. Nobody's scared of you. Nobody fears you like they did 
a Jordan. But when we have people like Nick Wright, Shannon Sharp, people really believe he don't cheat the game, but that's why I'm here for. It. That's why so many others like us on YouTube. This is why we're here. To make sure the lies get exposed. Your career has been manufactured to be great, which is really not. You do have talent. We're not gonna deny that. But your talent is not above so many others that are greater than you. Your fans can keep capping for you, but it's never gonna work. It ain't gonna work here. Not for me at all. So, you can keep telling people you never cheat in the game, but there's way too much material, way too much evidence that you have. And, sad to say, <clears throat> I can't wait to the day you retire. Because most of us thinking the reason why you won't retire because the minute you retire, all these things about you that nobody knows that soon will be possibly out in public will even dampen your career even more, dilute it even more once this stuff comes out. So we slowly wait for what the end looks like for you after you retire. Because it's going to be really interesting. And then we no longer have to say allegedly when it comes to you because me and so many others, we think you've been on the Captain America serum. We just have no evidence. But there's some, but we have no confident evidence that you are. So it'll be alleged for now. But you have cheated the game more than anything. More than any player that ever graced the court. And that's why we can't take you seriously. That's why you're no goat. You're a freaking delusional fans might think it. Shattering their dreams of you becoming a goat, which you never will be. So keep on trying. You can try so hard, your fans can cap for you. Your minions and the sports media can cap for you, but we all know who you truly are. We see right through the thin veil of what you truly are. A manufactured, cheating ass superstar. That is all.